So there are three differentiation rules that we need to know. The chain rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule. Now we've already met the chain rule, and in this video we're going to be looking at the product rule. Now, as opposed to the chain rule, it is much more obvious as to what functions we need to use, um, well, we need to differentiate using the product rule. Because essentially we're going to be looking at a product of functions. So we're looking at y being the product of two functions, f and g. Okay? So, for example, we might want to differentiate something that looks like this. Okay? So, y is equal to x times x plus 1 to the power of 100. This is a product of two functions, x and x plus 1 to the 100. Now, you could, as it were with the chain rule, you could expand the brackets out and differentiate each term individually, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use the product rule, and the product rule says that dy by dx is equal to the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, so the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. And we're going to use that in order to differentiate y is equal to x times x plus 1 to the 100. So, the first thing that we're going to do, so if I rewrite it down here, then dy by dx. So the first thing is to think the first, so x, times by the derivative of the second, the derivative of x plus 1 to the power of 100. Now that uses the chain rule. So product rule questions can include chain rule as, the chain rule as well. So the 100 comes down to the front. The derivative of what's inside comes outside, which is just 1, and then take 1 off the power. Plus, so that's the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. Now the derivative of the first is just 1. So this will be x plus 1 to the 100 times 1. And so if we simplify this, we have 100x, x plus 1 to the 99, plus x plus 1 to the 100. Okay? So that is the derivative of y is equal to x times x plus 1 to the 100. Now, we could potentially be asked to then factorise that which we're going to be looking at in the next few videos. Um, if I did that quickly, then you could see that x plus 1 to the 99 is common to both terms. And then we'd have 100x left over there. We've got an extra x plus 1 over there. And so, this is x plus 1 to the 99 times 101x plus 1. Okay? And that is the factorised version of that. So, the product rule will enable us to differentiate things like y is equal to x sine x, or y is equal to uh, x squared e to the x, or y is equal to e to the x tan x. All of these are a product of two separate functions, and therefore we can use this uh, formula in order to differentiate. 